Hey guys, it's Kieran and today I thought I'd do something quite different um, but I really wanted to do it because I see a lot of sort of fit health and fitness videos and um, it's people showing you their workouts and what they eat in a day and I really like it but they always show you when they've got to their end result that they wanted like if they've lost weight they'll show you how they got there after they've gotten there and stuff like I don't know if that makes any sense haven't really been happy with my body for quite a long time um, but it's only been recently that I've been motivated to actually make a change and like you know you can look at other people and think oh I want a body like that but you actually have to go and work for it and I knew that but it takes a lot of time to get motivated into doing it and now finally in the past couple of weeks I've been exercising every day and eating nutritious foods and so I thought I'd take you on this journey with me instead of getting to the result I want with my body and then and then showing you how I did it if you know what I mean so yeah I guess I'm starting a new series and this is sort of episode one um, where I want to I just want to share with you how I actually got motivated because I uh, yeah it does take a long long time and so I want to see if I can help you with that so without further ado here are my top five tips on getting motivated and staying motivated when you're working out and eating healthily or whatever. Tip number one is um, really, really simple. You know, this generation is always on their phones and all that kind of stuff. So it's literally just following Instagram accounts or Pinterest or Tumblr or whatever. I choose Instagram. But following inspirational Instagram um, accounts. So accounts that post like fitness um, videos, um, healthy food pictures, there's so many accounts that I follow that post like the most delicious looking food and it's all like fruit and veg and it kind of just makes you want to eat an apple and then there's those accounts that post um, pictures of just the fittest women I've ever seen in my life and you're sort of just like I really want their body and that's what happened, <laughs> that's what happened with me, it's like the first bit of motivation that I got was that like I do have to work for that body that I want and so you know it, it really I think it really helps looking at you know what you're aiming for so the top three accounts that I could recommend are number one fitness dream uh, number two detox page they post the most amazing like food pictures ever and number three female page which posts sort of um, a mixture between food and then people and workout videos and sort of all of that and I will link all of those down below um, but those are just my favourites, there are so many more. Tip number two. Now this sounds like a really, really silly tip, but I personally think it really, really helps and really makes me want to go out for a run or go to the gym. Um, and that is just getting cute workout clothes. Getting clothes that you feel comfortable in, getting clothes that you feel good in, and getting clothes that make you just sort of want to go out. If you get gym kit, the only excuse you have for wearing it is going to the gym, do you know what I mean? And so that really, really motivates me to go to the gym. And that doesn't mean you have to go to the most expensive place. Like, I know Sweaty Betty use some really, really nice clothes, but they're so unbelievably expensive. Um, my top recommendations would be H&M do incredible sportswear. For example, I have this really, really nice sports bra and matching leggings, but those are in the wash. Um, and it's just like, they're so comfortable and so vibrant um, and they sort of like motivate you to go out for a run or whatever. And when you're looking good, you sort of feel better when you're working out, even though you're sweating loads, you're like, damn, I still look incredible, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> the other place that I would recommend is Sports Direct. My favourites from there are these running shorts that I have, and they have a pocket in the back, so if you want to, if you listen to music when you run or go to the gym, then you can put your phone or iPod in there, and it's so convenient. And the other things that I have, like I have a ton, but I'm just showing you some of my favourites, just so you get an idea. The, they have like loads of vibrant coloured tops that look incredible. It's flattering on every kind of body type, so like why not? Those places aren't too expensive, so it is sort of worthwhile getting some clothes that you are going to feel good in and you want to work out in, because if you don't feel good and you don't want to work out, then you're not going to get the best out of it and there's kind of no point in doing it. Tip number three. So one thing I would definitely recommend is go to the gym or work out or go for a run with somebody else. So for example, me and my friend go to the gym every Monday and if 
she doesn't feel like going, she still has to because I want to and it, like vice versa. So you kind of are almost obliged to go and then by the end of it you're like I'm so glad I didn't back out of it. But if you were going by yourself you would most probably back out. So having a friend there sort of motivate, you motivate each other and also you're kind of obliged to go because if the other one wants to go you feel bad. <laughs> Tip number four, if you have the aim of staying motivated when working out, doing the same workout every day or every other day or every week is going to get boring and especially if it's something you don't really enjoy. So if you don't like running, you don't need to run. <laughs> like if you like dancing, dancing is actually really good and it works every muscle of your body and so you can actually do something that is working your muscles and you enjoy it. So you don't actually have to go, if you don't like going to the gym, don't go to the gym, do some classes at the gym instead. Like Zumba, Zumba's really, really good and unbelievably tiring. Um, things like that. Do things that you enjoy so it doesn't actually feel like you're exercising. And tip number five, this is when you've gone so far and you've, you know, you've started working out, you've finally gotten yourself to get a little bit more motivated and start working out. And when you feel like giving up, if you ever feel like giving up, just remember why you started in the first place. So those are my five tips for getting motivated to work out and eat healthily or, you know, whatever your goal is. And I would say before you start working out, just, you know, figure out what your goal is. Is it just to eat more healthily? Is it to just exercise more or is it just to lose weight? It doesn't have to be to lose weight. Um, I'm personally just a bit unhappy so I want to lose a bit of weight. Just figure out what your goal is first and then, you know, try and stay motivated. It is really, really hard. I feel like staying motivated is almost as hard as actually just working out. But yeah, hopefully those tips help you to stay motivated and if you liked them or if those tips worked for you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more because there will be more of these types of videos. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.